It is day three for the green home makeovers here in the D.C. area. We're talking about the taping of Extreme Makeover Home Edition, where Clean Skies News has been all week with two projects, the greenest yet of the series. Today, builders are concentrating on the building envelope for the D.C. home project, making tight seals with the floors, walls, and roof. This enables energy-efficient heating and cooling systems to work properly and use less energy. Clean Skies' Lee Patrick Sullivan has more. Day three, and the Maryland house is quickly starting to take shape. This home and this D.C. school are promising to be the greenest ever built by the hit TV show Extreme Makeover Home Edition. And the energy efficiency starts from the ground up with these projects, literally. Holding up the house are insulated concrete forms, also known as ICFs. The manufactured foam frames are poured with concrete on site. The foam insulation and the concrete become one, making for a tighter seal in the home. The same with these walls. They're not your average stud and plywood walls. They're SIPs, structural insulated panels. The SIPs are layers of wood and foam insulation compressed together. The panels are pre-made, going up in half the time as a traditional wall. And the house will become nearly airtight the builders say there's no need for energy efficient heating and cooling systems if the air can simply escape through cracks in the walls. The building envelope is the primary, the foundation, if you will, of any green building energy efficient home because we call it the enabling technology. By providing a very solid energy efficient building envelope, it allows all your other high tech green technologies to operate at their optimum efficiency. Even the plywood for the flooring and the glue are certified green, helping the project get an energy efficiency grant from the National Endowment for Humanities. We use no urea formaldehyde in our resins and we qualify for the NAHB Green Home Building Program and we can contribute points toward LEED certification programs. Both the Maryland House and the DC School have got a helping hand from the Department of Energy. The two projects were conceived at the DOE's Oak Ridge Lab the department wants to showcase its energy efficiency programs and let Americans know they don't have to wait for the next big invention to be energy efficient today. This is a fantastic opportunity to show, wow, we have all these technologies. Most of this stuff is off the shelf. In fact, I think all of it is. And we can put it and we can use it in our homes right today. Both sites were supposed to be finished in five days, but not all projects go as planned. Now, when digging the foundation for this project, they ran into some underground springs that they didn't anticipate, and it put the project back about 22 hours, but builders say by tonight, it will be right back on schedule. In Hyattsville, Maryland, Lee Patrick Sullivan, Clean Skies News.